Hey, it's Noel Christopher from, from Renner's Warehouse. Uh, it's been a little while since I posted some videos from the car, uh, mostly because I'm it's summertime and I'm not taking my kids to school every day. Uh, so most of the time I would post videos in the past from the car it would be after I dropped my kids off at school, driving them back home. Um, so I just wanted to throw another video out there. I've been doing a lot of different forms of media, I've been doing some LinkedIn Live, uh, which has been working great, but I really like these short form videos. Uh, you know. There's some interesting data that came out today was talking about where millennials are moving. Um, and I'm gonna talk about that in a second, but really, you know, what I'm trying to do is find investors who are selling single family rental portfolios. Because these same places that millennials are moving, investors are buying. And if these aren't areas that you're looking at as an investment strategy, I think you're missing the boat. Because you need to go where the people are and where the young people are moving. And a lot of the data has talked about how the millennials are moving to these cities and they are buying houses. It's about 42% of all the new homes bought are millennials. Well, okay, so uh, that's great, but I can guarantee you that not all of these millennials can afford to buy houses. And many of them want to rent rather than buy because sometimes they invest into real estate on their own or they want to stay mobile for job security or because of lack of job security or whatever it might be, just the times we're living in. So it's important to really look at where these millennials are moving, why you should move there. And you know what I found that was most interesting in this article from, uh, or this study done from Smart Assets, which I will post the link um, down in the comments, was that they were really focused on net migration. And so it was taking how many people were moving into the state that were millennials and how many people are moving out of the state. What I found was interesting is that you have, of course, just because of their sheer population, you know, how, how big the states are, places like California, uh, Texas, New York, Florida, North Carolina, those all held the top five in just the gross amount of millennials moving in. Um, but the funny thing is, is places like California, Florida, and New York don't even make the top 10 in net migration and I so you know what's really interesting if you look at this where the Millennials are moving uh, the top states are really really south and west so you've got Washington State Texas Colorado Arizona North Carolina Oregon Georgia Nevada Tennessee New Hampshire New Hampshire is the only state in the north in the Northeast that uh, you've got a, a decent about a m amount of net migration but it's really not that much um, and it, really there's the cities that are interesting. So the, the top 10 is kind of a lot of cities that you've heard of before, places like Dallas, Seattle, Portland, Oregon, Columbia, South Carolina, Norfolk, Norfolk, Virginia, Charlotte, Colorado Springs. That's one you need to keep on your radar. A lot of people are moving to Colorado. Um, I'm here in Colorado. I see it. It's becoming, it's not becoming, it is almost just about unaffordable to live in the Denver area. So Colorado Springs is blowing up. Um, got some other places like San Diego, which is, uh, you get a lot of millennials moving to. And then you get places like Clarksville, Tennessee, Henderson, Nevada. These are all places that uh, you've got great jobs. They're more affordable. There's gonna be more people moving there. Therefore, there is going to be more demand for rentals. Uh, look at the top 25 though, that's really interesting. You get a lot of um, metropol or smaller metropolitan areas, smaller cities that were, are within an hour's drive of a larger metropolitan area, so they're still commutable, uh, and people are moving there. And if they're moving there to buy houses, that means they're moving there to rent houses. So check out the list, contact me, if you have any questions, I'm looking for those who, uh, any investors are selling uh, portfolios of single family homes, especially in any of these markets, because where there are those buy, uh, moving, there are investors buying because there's a need for housing. And that is not going to ever change, regardless of what happens with the economy, which I can talk about another time. But thanks for watching. Ask me any questions. I'm gonna go into detail on this in my LinkedIn live show this coming Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern. Thanks a lot, and I'll talk to you later.